Hello and welcome. It's good to have you join. In my previous video, I have talked about current happenings in the US energy sector. Today, I want to highlight another critical issue in the US energy sector, energy shortfalls. In particular, I will explain the factors that lead to the increasing blackout concerns currently happening in the United States. Stay tuned if you want to find out more. Energy shortfalls have been an ongoing issue for developing countries where a major source of their energy is produced through oil. Those countries have to rely on expensive oil product imports to fulfill their energy consumptions. But countries like the US have never faced scarcity of resources, but to our surprise is facing an energy crisis. Yes, blackout is growing. Did you know that in 2020 an average American has faced 8 hours of power shortfall? According to the USA Department of Energy, this power interruption has doubled since 2013. There are various reasons behind the rising problems like extreme weather, vegetation patterns and consumption patterns of utilities. Another growing issue, and it might be the most significant one, is a failure in grid modernization. The Biden administration has been trying to change the face of the energy sector. And a good example is the Inflation Act of 2022 that we have discussed in the previous video. Go check that out to know more about this act. So the obvious question becomes, is the federal government untrustworthy? And is the US power grid turning out to be unreliable? To find the answers, we need to see the current issues with grid modernization. According to NC Clean Energy Technology Center quarterly report uh, dated July 2022, among 48 states, 549 actions are connected with grid modernization. To look further what these 549 actions are comprised of, we need to see that the most common among those actions in states was deployment of 103 actions, policies of 97 actions, and financial incentives with 95 actions. Next, I would like to talk about the challenge in managing those actions. But before we move on to the problem, let's take a look at the US electric grid mechanism and how it exactly works. The electric system is under the control of the state and the federal government. The US grid is a composition of three major stations. The Eastern Interconnection, the Western Interconnection and the ERCOT Interconnection, Texas. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission is responsible for the regulation of electricity transmission in the country. Other authorities that are permitted to underpin those grids, like independent service providers ISOs, and regional transmission organizations RTOs, all those entities contribute to transmission planning processes of 11 transmission regions in the country. The problem starts with the regulatory and other authorities. Simply, there is a lack of coordination among the Federal Energy Regulation Commission, in short, FERC, the IRTO and ISO, which hinders grid efficiency. Let's explain what I mean with an example. Once a project is approved, the cost allocation is decided under IRTO and ISO methodology. There is a developer of large renewable generation facility who is responsible for funding most of the transmission updation. That developer is also termed as beneficiary pays. However, FERC has not been able to decide who is the beneficiary and how much he gets of the benefit. The benefit of transmission project varies from project to project. There is no clear-cut procedure or guideline for the appropriate proportion of beneficiaries followed by lengthy litigation procedures. That makes the process slow and the advantage of the project is not executed at the time when it is needed. Because of these slow procedures, NC Clean Energy has reported that for grid updatation, an investment of 12.86 billion is required and has been requested, but out of which government has only approved 478.7 million. So that means 63% of the funds regarding grid modernization have not been approved yet. Another issue is the life of the grid. As per Harvard Kennedy School, the US electric grid has 600,000 miles of transmission lines that have a capacity of over 1 million megawatts. However, 
According to energy.go, more than 70% of the power lines are 25-year-old grids, have been aging and has been producing more than their original capacity. Many issues that need to be addressed in transmission planning. However, the political issue is another reason why the improvement process is slow. In some states, the state's public utility commission that plans and processes electric utilities have a conflict of interest. They believe initializing expensive electricity projects will burden the end consumer that will hurt their political career as well. So, Biden's plan to reduce electricity shortfall to a minimum and reach a goal of a 100% renewable energy solution by 2035 seems to be difficult to achieve under current circumstances. If you liked the video, please click the subscribe button and do let me know in the comment section about your views and feedback. Till then, take care and bye.